right, time to play some Ace 3 VR. It's been a while. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just had to take a break uh, over the uh, new year. Uh, doing a video for 25 days straight kind of takes it out on you. I mean, it's not the same as developing the game. Because uh, I think that would pr probably be pretty hard. But uh, still, you know, waking up during that time and messing up the sleep schedule is not really good for the body. So I had to take a extended break but hey you know what i'm feeling pretty good now and uh we got a new substantial update as you can tell by these uh boxes here so you know what let's just get to it this is the um first i guess real update of the uh new year obviously we had a couple of uh bug fixes for the uh meat miss guns but uh, uh we got some additions today that uh we can take a look at uh, right now so yeah all right so first up we got these uh primitive boxes uh, yeah, so we've got um, wood, got some hardwood, some light wood, hardwood. Uh, I think this is concrete, and this is uh, steel. I think that's what it says on the list. Uh, let me just check. Uh, metal, it just says metal, so whatever. So yeah, we get uh, three different types of boxes. As you can see, you can pick them up. This is the wood, light wood. Got the hardwood. And then concrete. Ooh, sounds concrete like. And metal. And of course, I think Anton showed this off, but you can't spawn lock these, so. So you can build to your heart's content. Now, let me grab this and see if we can. Uh, we can spawn lock this one too. I don't know about these big ones. Oh, we can. Spawn lock that. And with these really big ones. And spawn lock that. And what about the extremely big ones? These, I think this is 8x8x8. Eight by eight by eight. Oh, it's too big. But you can spawn lock it. Yeah, just have boxes everywhere. Look at that. Insanity. Oh, yeah. So, um, I'm trying to look at the sizes here. I did have them written down 2x2x2, two by two by two, about the smallest. And then I'm looking at my list here 4x4x4, four by four by four, which I uh, don't see on the wooden light wood. It's not here anymore. So, we're just going to go dark wood. This is 4x4x4. Four by four by four. So, yep. Yeah. And this, I think, is... What is this? This is... 8 by 4 by 4 I think. Cool. And then, 8 by 8 by 4 Oops, too close to my monitor there. Sorry about that. And, of course, we've got 8 by 8 by 8 Very big. Very nice. Um, I completely forgot because it's been a while. Hopefully my audio is recording properly. Again, again, uh, I haven't been recording for a month. But let me go into spectator panel here. Just the spectator. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're all good there. Okay, forgot about that. Uh, hopefully the audio and video is recording properly. Because like I said, it's been a month. All right, so those are your boxes. Uh, again, light wood, heavy wood. I think that's what it says. I looked at my list here. Light, heavy, concrete, and metal. Okay, so those are the boxes. Now, we've got some other stuff here. Uh, let's go to tools and toys. The barriers? No. Oh, we'll look at that in a minute. Uh, hmm. Primitives. Oh. Doesn't seem to show up. Well, that's, uh, that's not good. Huh. Hmm. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's not good. Hmm. That's a bug. I think Anton should fix that. But, uh, we were supposed to have, I wonder if this is here. Just grab this. Item spawner. Maybe this will work. 
oh no I don't think so. Oh, that's a bug. That is a bug. All right. So what I was was what I was about to do is I was about to spawn some a uh, what you call it um, flat panels. All right. So we have boxes. Uh, those are all nice and good, but it says on the change log that uh, we have some uh, panels, which are basically light, heavy wood, concrete, and metal, and they're just basically panels. So just imagine flat. Instead of boxes, they're just like panels. So I think that's what they're supposed to be, but they're not in the game somehow. That's a bug. That's uh, too bad, but, you know, whatever. It's uh, early access, experimental. You can't have everything. And I think Anton will probably fix that, so we'll take a look at that later. <laughs> All right, so, um, well, you saw it, but there are also barriers. So now we got some barriers. We've got uh, walls, which is a uh, barrier wall. And then you've got the narrow wall. Got yourself a window narrow. You got a window wide, a doorway, single, and a double door. So now we can build stuff, which, uh, you know what? Let's just add some of this. Ganton showed it off, but hey, you know, let's. Uh, Play around with this stuff. There we go. That's the uh, wall. We'll add another one. And maybe, uh, you know what? We'll do a wide window. And then we will add a doorway. Okay, cool. All right. This for right now. Grab our toolbox. Right there. We have our tools, got the tractor, rotato, where is rotato? There it is. I'm gonna rotate some of this. Okay, that's fine. Give me the tractor. I need that. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, move some of this stuff out of the way. Just out of the way for right now, because I want to Oops. That's fine. Okay. Oh, nope. I actually want to move this uh, further back because we're going to build ourselves a room. Then, I'm going to take this, rotate that. Actually, need to get rid of that for right now. Let's rotate this. There we go. Okay, that's one wall. We need a doorway, which uh, grab this here. That, and let's rotate this. Oops, I need to get rid of that. Rotate this that way. Whoa, oops. Excuse me. All right, that's glitching out. Hold on just a second. There we go. I actually need to move. Out, please. No. It's a little hard to do in such a tight space, but uh, we will get it. We'll get it done. Okay. Oh. I didn't quite, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to do because, again, uh, it should be an open area, but, uh, no, I decided to build it here for some stupid reason, but, uh, okay, let's just move that close there, and this one a little closer there, we'll close it off, there we go, yeah, close enough. Also, I'm, I'm actually moving to the center, away from the center of my play space, but uh, yeah, if I had more room that I could uh, probably uh, build a better uh, enclosure, but uh, there you go. You can build yourself a uh, nice little shoot house if you want, although uh, it would take some time to actually build something meaningful than this, but uh, just uh, put the stuff back here. But yeah, those are the uh, primitives. 
So yeah, you get all those uh, walls, and um, I think Anton showed it off, but uh, let's grab the Sosig uh, spawner here, and let's spawn ourselves a Sosig. One of the new uh, changes is I think uh, Anton added the Flaccid Serpent Sosig, so we can have these guys. Uh, let's do Infantry Rifle. And they're all going to spawn just like that. Okay. Hopefully they don't see me over here, but, uh, well, oh, that one's going to see me. So, you know, what? let's uh, get rid of that one. Let me see. Hold on. Do, do, do. Commands. Like Sosig. And delete. Where is delete? Delete selection. There we go. Okay, cool. Ah. I need to get to the center of my play space. Sorry about that. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So, let me just uh, select these so six. Sorry. Uh, select all. There we go. Put that there. And let's get ready. Let's grab ourselves uh, some weapons here. Do, do, do. Grenade, grenade, grenade. Uh, you know what? Let's grab a flashbang. Because we're going to have some fun. And a firearm. We need a firearm. You know what? We, uh, let's go Metal Gear Solid on these guys. Grab ourselves the uh, Mark 23. Got to screw on the suppressor. Get the uh, laser aiming module. Go. Okay. Cool. All right. So, um, so basically, I think uh, what Anton explained in the video was that these uh, barriers kind of carve the nav mesh so they can't see you. Hopefully, that'll work. <laughs> Again, this is uh, early access, so it may not work, but. Uh, Let's see, set the IF F2 guard, okay. To uh, one, and then activate. Yep, yeah, they don't see me. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, they didn't see me through the wall, so yeah. Let's see if we can. Uh, uh, spawn a couple more. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait till we finally get like Sosig spawners because uh, this will make uh, this whole process a lot more easier instead of having to do this manually. Let's do shotgun. Shotgun. Oops. Okay, better not activate, because that would be pretty bad. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Select, delete. Oh, well, that's the wrong one. All right, well, you know, that's okay. We're going to do a little, uh... There we go. Oh, they can probably see me, huh? Mm. That's terrible. Okay, maybe over here. This will work. All right, so sig. Uh, let's see. Select all. Set behavior to guard. IFF there. And then. Well, my jack. I didn't expect this. Hello. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh, maybe they're on the. Oh, no, they're on my IFF. Okay, they're my friends. Oh, okay, that's... uh. Sorry about that, guys. Kind of messed up. My union rep. I thought you were my enemies. All right, we're going we're gonna to do a different thing. Hold on. Let's... uh. uh let's see. So say commands. You know what? Set the IFF to that one. 
And then we're going to do this again. Okay. This should work. And we shouldn't be able to see this, but... Uh, whatever. Let's, uh, let's just test it out. Uh, select all. Guard. Okay. I just want to make sure they're my they're my enemies. Oh wait, I think I know what's wrong. Hold on. I gotta do this. Okay, enemy of bots. Oops. Well, nope. They know. They know. Special order over there. Ah, oh no. Well, you can see that they uh they kind of navigated through that doorway, so that's pretty cool, right? So, yeah, like I said, um and like uh, Anton explained that the uh, the walls kind of uh kind of ch chunk up the n nav mesh that they carve it up so that you know, the Sosix can actually like accurately, you know, navigate them. Although that was a terrible example because uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. I got kind of a... Uh, and then my flashbang was terrible. All right. But uh, let's do one more. Let's, uh, let's do this. Uh, I don't know how to use this tool. I forgot how to use this. Um, mm, spawn Sosigs. Mm, let's go with the... Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. Got commands. Select all. Guess set IFF to zero. And then a different IFF. Enemy of bots. Hopefully that'll work. And then Activate. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's go loud for this one. This would be a hard nut to crack if I wasn't such an expert. Yeah, this would be. Uh... So glad I finally got that pin fifteen membership card in the mail. Took long enough. Yeah, they should come in here. Again, on Earth. Oh wait, are they fighting each other? Wait. They're fighting each other. Really need <laughs> yeah, it was a. Uh... What's over there? You're Jason. <laughs> they're fighting each other that's why <laughs> okay well you know what yeah that was uh yeah stuff like that happens okay well uh man it's been a while since i used the sosig tool but you guys kind of understand the um the point that uh, these uh barriers uh have right so you can put them down you can uh you can add targets to them like let's say that's not what I wanted. This is what I want. Go back to categories here. Let's grab a target. Let's grab a steel target. Uh, let's see. Red. Have to manually place those. And a blue. There. Don't shoot the blue. Uh, what else? We we'll might do a uh, red right here. Okay. Rotato time.
and do something like this. Oh, what? That didn't work. <laughs> What's going on there? There we go. So basically, you know, you can set up targets like that. All right, got that done. Get rid of these. Something like that. You know, I mean, uh, it'd be better if uh, somebody with more creativity could come up with, uh, you know, uh, scenarios and, and layouts that uh, are fun. But yes, there you go. Cool. All right. So there we go. That's the barriers. Uh, I wish I could have showed off the uh, planks or the, um, what are they called? I forgot what they're called. Uh, panels. That's right, but uh, they're not in the game right now. Maybe uh, in a bug fix. Uh, hot fix coming up soon. But uh, yeah. So the, those are the new major additions to the game. Otherwise, uh, what else was there? Um, like I said, I missed a couple of updates because I was just taking a break. But you know what? We'll take a look at uh, some of the fixes that Anton decided to give us for those two updates. I'm going to sit down for this. All right, looking at my list, we've got a new ammo for the CBJ, which is this funky little thing. Actually need to find a ammo panel. Come on. I am sitting down. Spawn ammo panel. Got this. Take a look at all the stuff here that Anton has added. All right, so CBJ. Let's see, select held type which uh, is not spawning, which is weird, but whatever. Might have to grab this. There we go. Okay. So we've got AP, armor penetrating. We got it frangible. We got the hat, high energy transfer, and a hollow point. So as you can tell, these are the uh, rounds. Sorry for my shaky hands. Uh, let's see. This is armor penetrating. There we go. Black tips. So, we're going to stick this in there. Actually, you know what? Oh, I forgot. Charging handle's right there. Oh, also, this game with the suppressor, it wasn't in Meatness, but uh, Anton added it to the game. So, there we go. Suppressor. Actually, what? Let's just add another magazine there. Cool. All right. So that is our penetrating. We got frangible, which is these uh, little, uh, copper tips, I guess you want to call them. Now, you know what? We have these boxes. We should use them. Armor penetrating. Okay, well, you can't do that. I don't know why that's like that, but uh, just fill this. Cool. Higher energy transfer, which is basically, uh, I guess, the default. Sorry about that. That was my, my headphones. All right, cool. And hollow point, which this is probably not going to go through anything. Although, yeah, it is going to ricochet. <laughs> All right, cool. There you go. So new ammo for the CBJ. Let's see what else. Uh, hmm. EM2 handling fixed. Okay, so this one, uh, I think Anton, uh, if I'm trying to remember correctly, I think it locks open after, 
Or no, wait, hold on. Let me, uh... Okay, locks open. There's a little uh, latch here you can press to uh, release the bolt. But that should... Also, new sounds. And we've got ourselves a... Should lock open. Yeah. Cool. All right. And then when you put it in, the uh, of course uh, it'll automatically uh, release the bolt. Pretty cool design. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Cool, we checked that out. Let's just throw these ones that we've done on the ground. All right, so what's on the next uh, agenda on the list? Uh, Tall 61 bayonet. Okay, cool. Let's take a look at that. There we go. There's your bayonet. You can actually, uh, let's see if I can grab the spawner here. Oops, come on, game. Don't freak out on me. All right, let's gra spawn a Sosig. Let's grab ourselves just a regular... Let's see. Hmm. Is that not going to work? Nope. Nope. Well, that's going to work, right? Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Static. It should have been static. There we go. <laughs> <clears throat> so, we got ourselves uh, our taws. Let's uh, I just wanted to see if the... Uh, Alright, cool. Yeah. And I think uh, I think Anton fixed the uh, the muzzle point here. So, no. oh no, maybe not, not yet. But there you go. You can have a bayonet now on your taws. Works. Stab. Shoot. Stab. Shoot. And one more for good measure. Yeah, oh, you're still alive. <laughs> Spin it like a revolver. Cool. There you go. We'll bayonet for your uh your Russian uh, space gat <laughs> emergency, whatever. Okay, cool. So we took a look at that. Let's see. What else is that? High point, uh, tactical, little laser. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so the laser works now, thankfully. So now you can have uh, more tacticalness with the laser. Let's actually shoot this off because... It's been a while since I played around with the meat miss guns. This one. Laser there. Cool. So you got laser now. Which, uh, yeah, more ridiculous, but uh, that's pretty cool. All right. Well, let's uh, put that on the ground there. <clears throat> All right, what else uh, we got on the list here? We've got ourselves... Oh, the bolt action thing. Oh, this one I haven't played around with because I have no idea how this works. Okay. Six. Okay, cool. 
All right. Um, so basically you can, um, how do I explain this? Uh, I think Anton explained it better, but you can, you can grab the bolt and if I do it right, you hold down on the touchpad and you automatically grab the round in your hand. So, uh, So now I just want to put this into the gun. Top it off. There we go. So basically, like if you want to, let's say, Kind of hard to do. Uh, I'm not really uh, too good with the bolt actions, but uh, somebody with more practice could probably do it. Oh, I just want to top this off. Hold that. Something like that, you know? But yeah, there you go. A little new behavior for you uh, bolt action fans out there. You can now grab around by holding down on the touchpad when chambering. Uh, if I remember correctly, I don't really need to look at a list for this one, but now you can, once you break open the air gun, you can flick it closed. So that's uh, the simple one. Let's try to grab ourselves a BB here. Very simple, very easy change. All right. Um, let's see what else was added. Ooh, gotta sit down. Check my list. Check my list. Uh, let's see. Oh, that one looks interesting. see hold on let me see on the attachments here oops that's not good attachments let's see uh rail riser medium height oh, i've never seen that before <clears throat> rail riser medium so i think before it used to be short and tall now there's a medium height one which uh yeah there you go can stick this on a gun. You know what? Let's spawn a gun. Go and grab ourselves a uh, yeah, 550. Oh, this is a medium height rail riser. We've got ourselves a short, which is short, and of course we've got ourselves a tall. One of these tall boys. Hmm, cool. All right, so if you have uh, more customization of the gun build, if you want to, it's cool. Uh, let's see, mini 14, 20 round mag and item spawner. So this uh, was a little small little thing, but it is now in the game. So let me try to find the mini 14 here. Do, 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 do. I might be in the wrong category. Oh, there it is. So this is a 30 round mag, 10 round, 5 round. That's a 20 round mag. Oh, okay, there we go. Found it. I think that's the wrong image for it, but uh, yeah, because that's the 30 round mag, mag image. So, yeah, so, well, you get your 20 rounder. I think we I think we saw this before, but uh, there you go. And this is a thirty round. You can tell twenty round, thirty round. Cool. 
let's drop that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, so CBG ammo, suppressor, medium height rail riser, 20 round mag, EM2, toss bayonet, high point, air gun, bolt action. Oh, here we go. Mare's leg can use model eight scope. I uh, I think I'm used about this during meatmas, but uh, lever action. Where is the mare's leg? Here it is. I said, uh, I think someone tried it. I didn't know if it actually worked or someone should try it. But uh, I guess now it works. So uh, let's grab ourselves a scope here. Where is the Model 8? Here it is. This one. Because this one doesn't have any sights. Uh, if you... Oh, uh, I am just full. My pockets are full. I need to get rid of some of these rounds here. Grab as much as uh, possible there. Okay. So now you can stick a scope onto this thing. Hopefully it will work because it's a little weird. Uh, you know what? I will grab this by the handle. There we go. Now you have a sight for it. Which, uh... So there. Oh, my hand is cramping up again. Sorry about that. Oh, man. Got those hand problems. Okay, so that was the mare's leg. Uh, okay. I think we have one more thing to show off, and that will require us to be in a larger area. So let's go to the main menu. I load the game because the game takes a long time to load on my machine. Okay. I'm sitting down because I am tired. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Let's go to the Arizona range because we're going to have some fun. Loading scenario. Oh, hey, this is new. Uh, I think Anton mentioned this. While things are loading, you get to see this nice little loading ring. Hopefully, you guys get to see it. Uh, it's kind of loading for me right now. Because I have a slow computer. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, all you guys with the fast computers out there, you're not going to see that. It's just going to boop. You're done. All right. <clears throat> all right. So uh, let's say, let me see the list here. Flare rounds are now detectable uh, for the stinger. That's what it says on the list. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, what that means is the uh, <clears throat> Carl Gustav. If I can find it. Uh, what is it? Missile? Missile? There we go. Spawn this object. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I had to cough. Um, let's see. This is not a flare. Where is the flare? Illumination. There we go. Okay. We need to spawn lock this because this is going to be some fun stuff here. Also need to find the stinger. Man pads. Okay, this is going to be real fun. Because I haven't used this weapon in a long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is going to be really fun because, like I said, I haven't used the stinger in a while. So I'm going to try to remember how to use this thing. Grab this. The moment you put the battery in, it's going to... Get rid of these. Okay, need to do this, open this up, elimination round, should go in like that, and again I'm left handed, which is <laughs> not ideal, but uh, we'll make it work somehow. Okay, so like I said, the f uh, flare rounds should be detected by the stinger, so we can have a little target practice, and we just need to shoot this.
I missed. Completely. Oh. Nope, I missed. I managed to launch the uh, singer, but uh, yeah, my aim was a little uh, off. But there you go, you see the little parachute with the illumination round. It's slowly just floating down to the ground. Very peaceful. You survived today, buddy. Next time, you won't be so lucky. <laughs> but that's how you, uh, yeah, so. As you can see, the uh, Stinger missile uh, went straight for it and then somehow missed because I am terrible at it. But uh, we'll do one more shot. Let's do one more shot. That was fun. And there goes the Stinger. Just exploding out in the distance. Okay. Let's do a little uh, farther this time. Oh, I completely missed. <laughs> uh, maybe I shouldn't uh, angle it up. You know what? Still have time. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, that's why you angle it up, because you die. All right. Well, you know, it, it takes a little practice. But, uh, yeah, usually uh, if you're skilled enough, you could probably do it. But I'm not skilled enough. <laughs> I'm a little impatient with it, but uh, there you go. So now the flare rounds, the illumination rounds, can be detected by the stinger, which is going to be pretty fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, somebody out there probably hit it with the uh, Carl Gustav and the stinger. But yeah, so I think that was the list. I want to check the list one more time to make sure I didn't miss anything major. All right, let's see. Panels, boxes, shoot house walls, CBJ ammo, suppressor, rail riser medium, mini 1420 round mag, EM2 handling, flare round, bayonet, high point air gun, bolt action, mare's leg. Uh, one last thing that's really minor. I think uh, just uh, swing around here. Ouch was my wall. I wonder if I can find it. Um, I don't think it's here. Maybe assault rifle? And I need an attachment for this. Anyway, let's grab the CBJ. So, yeah, I think, yep. So, basically, uh, Anton fixed the muzzle attach point for the AK-12. And, uh, yeah, it should be easier to put on attachments. And, of course, the um, muzzle brake here disappears when you put an attachment on. There you go. Very minor, but still pretty cool. I don't have any ammo for this. I should have spawned a mag, but that's okay. It's all right. We'll just stick that there. And I think that's it on the list. Other than, uh, well, Serpent Sosigs are now in the, I had the Sosig spawner, but I showed that off by spawning them to shoot. So, um, yeah, that's the update for today. I, I hear the next update is going to uh, give us a little more for the game planner that Anton's been planning for a long time, which uh, is uh, looking pretty good. Since we got walls now, I think... Uh, I think the most important thing would probably be uh, Sosig spawning. So we need to get rid of the old Sosig spawner and have a new one, or at least, uh, you know, something for the uh, toolbox, right? So if we have a Sosig spawner gun here somewhere, this one's empty, right? Put something there. Put something... I guess uh, it's not spawning there, but usually there's a gun here. But, you know, you can spawn stuff. Probably a panel or something. I don't know. But that's what we need because uh, spawning walls is great, but we need uh, things to shoot at. And uh, Sosigs are pretty cool to shoot at. So, I mean, it's, it's all up to Anton whether um, he wants to work on that or not. But, you know, whatever update he gives us, it's I'm sure it's going to be pretty pretty fun to play with. But that's about it for today. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time.